everybody, Richard Pie Guy here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to enable your NVIDIA card on your Bodicera setup. So let's dive into it. All right, so let's get started. What we're going to do first is we're going to jump onto a separate computer from the computer that we're typically running Bodicera on. Although I guess you don't have to be on a completely different one as long as you have an operating system that's obviously separate from Bodicera. So what I've done is I've actually removed the SSD from my gaming PC, which has Bodicera on it, and I'm going to connect it to my separate laptop, and I'm going to connect it with this adapter right here. This is a Sabrent USB 3.0 to SSD 2.5 inch SATA hard drive adapter. So you can see right here, I'll zoom in. This is the side that actually connects directly to the SSD. And then over here is our USB connection. So SSD connects here. This end plugs directly into your computer and you're going to be able to access your file system for your SSD with Bodicera on it. So I'm gonna X this out. And what I'm gonna do is I have my adapter connected to my hard drive already. All I have to do is just plug it into the USB port on this computer that I'm using today. All right, so here you can see that our Bodicera SSD has automatically opened up. And up at the top, you can see it's labeled Bodicera Drive D. So what we wanna look for is this bottom file here. Now this may look different on your computer depending on your operating system and your setup and how your different file systems and devices are read on your computer, but this is how it shows up for me. So regardless of how it actually appears here, you wanna look for Bodicera dash boot, which you can see is right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click on this and I've actually opened this before. So I've already told it to open up as a notepad or WordPad in this case, you can see right up here at the top, it says WordPad. So when you go in here for the very first time, it's likely gonna ask you how you wanna open this up. Just go to either your notepad or WordPad, whatever you have there, and it's gonna open up just like this in a text format. You can see that we have a bunch of different lines in here with hashtags in the front. So there's two things that we need to change in here. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna navigate over to this line right here, which says NVIDIA dash driver equals true. And you can notice that there's a hashtag in front of this line. We're just going to backspace that hashtag out just like that. Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to go up here to the line that reads, enable the NVIDIA driver. And then in parentheses, it says, remove the hashtag to enable it. We want to enable it. So we're gonna do the exact same thing that we just did on the previous line. We're going to click right in front of that hashtag, hit backspace on our keyboard so it's fully removed. And all we need to do now is just hit the save button in the top left corner. You can also go into file and save it right here as well. So once it's saved, you'll be able to X out of this. If you don't save it properly, when you hit the X button, it's going to ask you if you wanna save your changes. So just make sure that you save them. And just to make sure everything stayed exactly as we left it, we'll jump back in here and just make sure that those hashtags are still removed. So we'll just go to those two lines again. Here's our enable line. Here's our NVIDIA driver equals true line. Both of them have the hashtag removed. So that is all we need to do here. We can go ahead and X out. And then we are going to disconnect our SSD from our separate computer, reinstall it back into our gaming PC and we should be able to boot up everything and be able to fully access your NVIDIA drivers now through Bodicera. All right, so as you can see from this video, super easy and straightforward to get this up and running, and you're going to see a major difference in your performance as long as you do have a NVIDIA card to actually enable. Otherwise, you're gonna just waste your time and there's gonna be absolutely no benefit to this whatsoever. So make sure that you check on your individual setup, your gaming PC, and all the components involved in that to make sure that you do have a NVIDIA driver to actually enable to improve your performance. But that's gonna do it for today. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, feel free to hit me up in the comments section of this video. Always happy to help any way I possibly can. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, smash the like button for me. It's a huge help here on YouTube. And of course, hit the subscribe button to stay in the loop for all future videos. That's gonna do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching.